let's now add the same functionality that we have just added to our Android project to our iOS project. So let's go ahead and open our iOS main storyboard file and we're going to be creating the UI that will allow us to add new books to the SQLite database that we have. So instead of the main .storyboard file, we're going to have a Hello World click button that we don't need. So the select it and delete it. For that, we're also going to be needing to head back to the view controller and delete this code that is using that button. So let's just get rid of this as well. And this int count that we don't need in here. So we can move forward into creating the UI that we need. So let's start by going to the toolbox and searching for a text field. So let's select a text field and add it to our UI in here. And I'm going to make this as wide as possible. So I am going to be adding the constraints in a little while. I'm going to be adding a second text field in here. And I'm also going to be making this as wide as possible. And finally, I am going to search for a button. So I'm also going to make this wide and I'm going to add the constraints in here to just uh, make sure that these are always as wide as possible inside of any screen and that they look good inside of any screen. So you guys know how to do this. Just make sure that these are going to be centered and with a certain margin to the left, a certain margin to the right as well. But the important thing that we have to keep in mind here is that we are going to be needing to change some of the properties for this element. So let's start by giving this a name. For example, this one is going to be book title text field. And we're going to change its text to be null or empty. And we're going to set a placeholder to be book title. And something similar for this one, no text, a placeholder of book author. And we're going to set a name to be book author text field and for the button we are going to set its name to be safe button and we're going to change its title to be safe so there we have it we have the ui ready let's just head back to our view controller and inside here inside of the view did load we will be able to go ahead and call from the safe button the touch up inside event handler so we're going to be creating a new method. Again, for some reason, this is not working for me. So I'm just going to have to create it manually. And this is going to be a private void, set the exact same name. And it's going to have an object sender and an event args args. So I'm also going to be needing to do the exact same thing that, that I need on Android by creating a button, I'm sorry, a book, and by creating the entire path of the database. So this is going to be so similar that I can actually go back to Android main activity and go ahead and copy this text. So I can just copy and paste it. I do need to make some changes rather add the namespace that are needed, for example, for the path and for the book in here. And we also have this database helper, but we do need to change this because the text field is not called author edit text. It is called book author text field. And we're also going to be having to change this to book title dot text field. So that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and run this on an iOS simulator. I'm going to select this iPhone 5 uh, and I'm going to run this. And I'm also going to be going to check for the console to check if the success or the failure text are being displayed. So I have now the application up and running in here. I have the book title. This is the same one, start with why, because it's, it's just a very good book. And let's just click and save. Of course, nothing is going to happen right now so far in the application, but if we go to view, paths, and we open the application output, we can see here that in fact the, the operation was successful because I have this success text inside of the output. 
So there you have it. In the next lectures, we're going to cover how you can read from the database and display inside of a list in iOS and in Android.